everyone, I'm Tabitha Claussen, IFBB Bikini Pro, Certified Personal Trainer, and Bodybuilding.com Athlete. And if you guys follow me, I did a giveaway on my Facebook page. Um, I wanted you guys to send me your best fitness questions, and I had a great response. I think I got about 30 emails um, with tons of great questions, and I'm going to try to get back to everyone soon. Um, but I, I said that I would pick a winner and answer their questions in a video blog. Um, and uh, I actually picked five winners, and uh, you know I, I like making people happy. So if I can make more people happy, then it makes me happy. <laughs> so um, it was actually five women, um, just randomly. It wasn't just a girl thing. Uh, but I actually, the winners all got my um, "Can you lift that bitch, please?" tank. It's my favorite tank off the Bodybuilding.com um, website. So I sent everyone out their uh, their prize. Um, and I'm also going to be holding a contest each month, so a giveaway. I'm not sure, you know, if I'm going to do the same thing with the fitness question. Um, I might have you guys do a challenge and film it and send it in. Um, but I really want to interact with, uh, with you guys more because, I, you know, a, there's a lot of great people out there that uh, I feel like I can connect with and I, and I want to help and I love hearing from you guys. Um, so, yeah, so I'll definitely be doing that more. So look for a giveaway every month. Um, and I'll make it fun. I'll make it fun. And I'll have a bunch of winners. So I had five winners, but uh, the question I'm going to answer today was from Katie. And uh, the reason why I picked this one to win was because I felt like I could hit a bunch of different topics that, you know, I, I'm actually very passionate about. Um, so I'll just read you the question and then I'll, then I'll start answering it. So her um, question was, Tabby, I'm roughly one week out from my first figure competition. I know since I'm hooked and definitely want to continue this, it is important um, in my off season to only put on about 10 to 15 pounds and no more than 20 to make it easier on my body the next prep, especially since I was already extremely lean at the beginning of this prep and was lucky enough not to have to do insane amounts of cardio, which is good. Do you have any tips to avoid the dreaded contest rebound or how to transition back to my pre-contest diet? I eat extremely clean due to the fact that I've lost approximately 50 pounds two years ago. Notes from Katie. Um, and, I, and I love this one because it touches on a bunch of different subjects. I don't feel like you should ever have to be crazy in order to get ready for a contest. I mean, you're obviously doing things you normally wouldn't do. You're, you know, eating, you know, very clean. Um, you're doing a little bit more cardio than you would normally do. Um, your lifting changes as you get closer to show you, you train lighter. Um, but with, with what she said, um, that she didn't have to do an insane amount of cardio, that makes me very happy because I know that she won't, that was Bella, she won't have to deal with, uh, metabolic damage as much, um, that I'm, that I'm thinking. Uh, that's a big issue that a lot of people are dealing with. Uh, right now is the metabolic damage because they're doing insane amounts of cardio they're taking in not enough calories and all for getting a trophy on stage which doesn't make any sense because trying to get your body back after doing this this whatever you have to do to get on stage is not fun a lot of people gain a ton of weight after their show they're unhappy with themselves I mean the whole point for me getting on stage it was a fitness thing. I wanted to be happy with my body. I wanted to get in the best shape possible. And killing my body to get there just doesn't make any sense. Um, I think that we tend to work ourselves up and really get, you know, crazy with what we want to do. Bella's going to my hair. Um, we want to do well and, you know, we really um, get into it. But, sorry about that. <laughs> She's nuts. Um, and she loves to chew my hair. But I think that, you know... In the end, um, competing should be about being healthy and staying healthy and um, not killing yourself to get there um, and giving your body time. Uh, too many people, like, they're not going to be ready for their show, so they up their cardio, they're doing three hours of cardio, they're just, I just don't believe in that. I really don't. I think that if even if it takes you a year, two years, you should take your time and get your body to where it needs to be to do a show. I don't think that you should damage your body in order just to get on stage and possibly win a plastic trophy. That's just how I feel personally. Um, fitness is my lifestyle and being healthy is my lifestyle and overcoming all these eating disorders. I mean, my whole goal was just to be healthy and happy with who I am. So, um, that, you know, kudos for not doing that. That's one of the things I wanted to bring up. Um, but 
to not gain the weight as she was talking back, um, slowly bring your calories back up. Uh, don't go crazy. Don't abandon your diet. Like she said, she eats very, very clean anyways, which is a good thing. Um, but slowly bring your calories back up. You know, have, have so your cheats here and there, but don't go crazy. After my second show, I completely abandoned my diet. Um, I was eating pizza and ice cream, which I didn't know that I couldn't have at that point. And I gained a lot of weight, and I didn't even realize it. But then when I did, someone said, made a comment, and I saw a picture of myself, and I was like, what happened? But, um, you know, when I did, I was really unhappy. And, you know, that, that kind of triggered things from my eating disorder again. So, I mean, that was the last thing I wanted to do was bring all those issues back up. So, I mean, staying to a basic diet outline, upping all your calories slowly, um, drinking plenty of water, you're going to have a little bit of a rebound because you have brought your body down so low. But it shouldn't be anything crazy. If you weren't crazy to get to where you need to be, it shouldn't be anything crazy when you come back off. Um, and if you are having trouble, give yourself time. If you do, you know, um, gain a lot of weight after your prep and stuff, give yourself a break. Let your body, let all the hormone levels get back to where they can. And if they're, if you're still having, you know, a ton of trouble, you might have to go see a doctor and uh, make sure that everything is where it should be. Um, but, but give your body time. You need to take care of your body because you only get one body and it's, it's not worth it to beat the crap out of it for a show because that is not health and that is not fit that is that is not fitness to me that is unhealthy um that's that's personally why i only do a couple of shows a year if that because i i want to make sure that everything works i want i want to have kids in the future and uh i want to make sure that i keep my body as healthy as possible and i don't trigger my eating disorders again so um so that's why i picked that question because i thought it was a great question um, you know, get back into training slowly, up your calories slowly, and uh, love your body. So, um, yeah, that was the answer to that question. Um, I'll probably be doing a couple more vlogs because I got a ton of great questions, and a lot of them were very similar. I'll hit on one real quick. Um, another question now that I just can think of it off the top of my head. A couple of people sent me in these. Um, what do I do when I crave sweets, which I love candy. If you know me, I am, like, made of candy. <laughs> um... But if I'm craving sweets um, and I can't have them, then I have fruit and I put trivia on it. And it like increases the sweetness of the fruit like oh, times 10. So that really does it for me. Um, sometimes if I'm having Diet Coke or something, it'll make me crave more sweets too. So I try to avoid that if I'm having a tough time and drink more water. Um, so yeah, that's what I do if I'm craving sweets. I just I have some fruit um, and put trivia on it. And that tends to hit the spot and I feel good. So, uh, yeah, that was my vlog for now. If you have any more fitness questions, please don't hesitate. Um, message me on Facebook. I know I've, I've had a hard time checking all the messages. I hired an assistant that's just going to help me so that I make sure I get back to everyone. Um, email me, TabithaClawson at gmail.com. Um, my Yahoo kept getting hacked, so I have a new one. And, uh, you know, just, you know, follow me on Facebook and look for the giveaway I'm going to have next month. I think I'm going to do a challenge. I'm going to do something where you need to, like, film it, send it in, doing something cool and fun. Um, all right, so thank you for, you know, spending time with me and Bella. And sorry she chewed my hair. That's my regular life, though. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.